Hello and welcome internet people to the second part of this video tutorial series where I'm going to show you how to create this character you're looking at completely in Flash and it's going to be completely animatable. Okay, so we made this eye and this eyebrow on the first part and now we're going to continue on with the next parts of the face. The next part obviously we're going to make the other eye and the other brow which is going to be pretty simple. Just select everything you have on the uh, right now on the screen which is the eye and the pupil and the eyebrow and just hit copy on your keyboard and we're just gonna paste it right in there that's pretty simple and that looks a bit weird but we're gonna modify it a little bit just select everything again hit modify and go to transform and flip horizontally okay and there's a hotkey for that so you're gonna your uh, I recommend you learn the hotkey so you don't have to go modify transform flip horizontally whatever okay so flip it horizontally and um, now we're gonna start adjusting a little bit with the free transform tool which is the third tool by the way and just select everything and hit that little square button just push the symbols so you're gonna have something like that and uh, the reason why I'm doing this, as you can see, it's the character, the sketch, it's not completely on profile, but it's not completely looking at the front, so it's a three, the famous uh, three-quarter view. So technically, on perspective, the eye, the, uh, yeah, the eye must be hiding a bit, if that makes any sense. So that's why we're pushing it a little bit, so you can modify it more if you want. So yeah, as you can see, since we made everything separate, we can move the eyebrow, you know, everything separate. So we give it a little bit of asymmetry. The ideal thing would be to modify the inside of the eye symbol so it's not just a copy of it. But anyway, let's uh, save a little time and just copy that. I think it looks, it doesn't look that bad. So now uh, what we are going to do is the nose. So you just grab the line tool and select on the stroke of four uh, color and just uh, draw a line. We're gonna zoom in a little bit and start modifying that line. What I'm gonna do is just add some uh, some vector points to it. Like I said, you know, just uh, go to a part of the line where you're gonna add a point, select Alt on your keyboard and click and drag while you're holding out. So that's gonna create a new point. And I think I'm gonna create another new point here, yeah? And just start moving those, those uh, corners of the line to uh, create the shape. I'm sort of imagining, I know the sketch doesn't help a lot, but uh, you know, just uh, the idea that I have for the nose. And don't worry if it overlaps there with the eye, because it's since it's a separate symbol, it's not going to be an issue. So don't worry about that, but I'm going to move it so it doesn't bother me for now. Since, you know, like I said, everything's a symbol, a symbol, a symbol we don't have to uh, worry too much about uh, where we're making things right now because at the end we can adjust that. But anyway, just uh, uh, let's uh, start modifying the shape a little bit. What I'm going to do now is add another point in that curve, and you're going to see why in a second, because I want to be able to modify it more than I have control right now. So just on the middle of that curve, click Alt and drag, and that's going to create a new point, and now I'm going to be able to select each uh, part of the curve and curve it, if that uh, makes sense, and make a nice curve like that. So, yeah, I, that's a nice little trick, I think, and I think that looks like a pretty good no nose, nose, and uh, what I'm going to do is just double-click select it, I'm going to modify, convert to symbol, and Jose Nariz which is the Spanish for nose. We're all learning things, Flash and uh, Spanish on this, and me English speaking. So double click and go inside of that uh, Jose Nariz symbol and just go to shape and convert lines to fill selecting the lines. This is the same thing we did with the uh, line underneath the eyes on the first part. So if you miss, miss, miss that, uh, make sure and go and watch that because it's uh, practically the same thing. You know, just clicking Alt and making new points and sort of tapering the lines. It's a pretty common effect. Um, just to give it a little more line quality and making it less uh, exact. I don't know. I, I just think it looks good. Now with the line tool, what I'm going to do is um, a very common thing as well with the uh, flash animations where I just make a line, you know, that crosses the both points of the nose and just with the bucket tool, this is actually the color uh, we're gonna use for the skin. I already have it so we don't lose, lose time uh, 
selecting a color but if you want to save a color you know select a color by the way if you want to open that good window and uh, and color oh I missed that it's just uh, selecting and clicking add swatch if you missed that just uh, rewind that part sorry about that so I uh, just fill that in with a bucket tool and we're gonna have something like that and you're gonna see in a second why we why that's good now if we double click and go outside of the symbol you can see I have that symbol and if I move it let's say on top of the eye uh, we're gonna have something like that where the uh, where if we want to animate let's say the face moving or something like that and we have the nose overlapping the eyes it's gonna be it's not gonna be like uh, overlapping on the bottom or what's the word you know what I mean you know you're not gonna see the eye on uh, on the God, I'm not finding the English words but you understand what I'm saying it's just to cover up things that would be you know on the bottom of that so now that we have that as you can see there is the final product we're gonna finish with we have the nose and uh, we can do now either the mouth or the ear it's really you know not a big deal which one we do first I think we're gonna do the ear first just uh, just because but yeah for the ear it's gonna be pretty simple just grab the circle the, the oval tool I'm sorry and um, for the stroke, we're gonna try and keep it consistent. So select a four and just uh, draw a circle. That's, uh, yeah, or, or more exact again, a oval. And what we're gonna do again, same as with the eye, just grab the selection tool and start modifying it a bit, just clicking on the edges of the circle and modifying so it's not like, a, you know, just a circle that you drew there. Again, this is optional. There's a lot of, you know, designs that do uh, want or uh, need a circle for an ear, but it's just, you know, and I'm not even liking this shape, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, just uh, modify it however you want. I'm just gonna tinker around with it for a few seconds. And yeah, I mean, it looks kind of weird. And now what, what you can do, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty nice trick. Just make a square selection like I'm doing right now and shift select the skin color part. So we're gonna deselect that part. You're gonna see why in a second, just click. And then we're gonna hit delete on the keyboard and that's gonna delete the lines. But as you can see, it didn't delete the skin color part because we shift selected that part. So that's a good thing to know. It comes in handy quite a bit when uh, when we're drawing. So now uh, what I'm gonna do is um, select the year and just get a modify and convert to symbol and predictively we're gonna name it Jose Oreja which means ear by the way since I'm telling you it's a, sort of a Spanish lesson as well. Um, yeah so it's Jose Oreja which means ear and let's hit OK to make it a symbol. Now to modify it just double click and go inside that symbol and as you can see it's sort of a little pattern I do where I half complete things and I make it to a symbol and then I double click and go inside. That's more of a habit it's a convenience thing because then I uh, I don't have to organize and make a thousand layers I can just organize in symbols. But anyway, um, what I'm doing here is just creating a new layer inside the ear symbol and just uh, making a new line with a, with a smaller stroke, which is not going to be as thick because I'm making the details on the ear. And just the uh, same thing we've done before, which is uh, clicking with Alt to make uh, new points and just clicking and dragging on the line to, uh, to have uh, this sort of shapes. And I'm not... Um, I'm gonna tinker around that much, you know. This uh, th these uh, details can take forever if you uh, let them. But you know, as you can see, he's still playing around with that ear. Not happy with that shape. You know, I added a new point. By the way, it was uh, kind of quick. But uh, what I'm gonna do now, and I did this uh, with a hotkey, is go to modify and convert lines to fill. It's the same thing with it, with the ear and with the detail on the eye on the first part. Um, so yeah, just uh, there's some times where uh, the cumber line to thing line to fill things make the makes those a weird shape and this odd stuff. So just delete those things and uh, 
yeah, it's uh, sort of a weird, uh, weird thing it does. But anyway, uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, just add a shadow, the shadow that produces the sort of the depth of the thing you have in your ear, <laughs> the hole, <laughs> the hole what I'm talking about. Okay, I just have to learn more English. But anyway, so just uh, what I'm going to do <laughs> is select the the bl a black color and just uh, bring the the opacity down to so just less black and we're gonna make this on a new layer by the way it has to be on a new layer and just with a rectangle start uh, modifying it a bit and um, yeah so just make that uh, that shape with a rectangle it's a pretty pretty straightforward okay so now that we have that, just double click and go outside, and as you can see we have the, this is what we have right now, which is, I think, pretty good. Pretty good. Now what I'm going to do before I continue drawing is uh, adjust the pivot points of the symbols, which is a very important thing to do before you start animating. This is a key rule to a flash limited symbol animation. Just adjust the pivot point of your symbols before you start animating. And the pivot point is that little white circle that appears on the center so you just grab it with the free transform tool select the symbol and you're gonna be able to see where that pivot point is so uh, what we do to move it just click and move it so what that does is it's just gonna take that as reference to pivot the symbol so if you're rotate it's gonna rotate around that pivot point as you can see if I move it in some place weird it's gonna rotate like that and if I scale it it's gonna take that as a reference so that's uh, Really important thing. Now for the nose, we're gonna move it like that. So since we if we do that thing, we're we're totally in the first part that we have the character walking, his nose moving. That's gonna be handy, and also for scaling it because um, or rotating. So um, yeah, with the with the brows, let's just move it there since we can scale them easier. And uh, like I said, if we wanna make an expression, we can do that. It's uh, yeah, it's a pretty easy thing. And um, just playing around with the expression. <laughs> I'm looking at his pupils right now. He looks. <laughs> his sort of look is like. Okay, that's a little bit better. <laughs> he was looking. I don't know. It was weird. So, okay, this is what we have right now. And I'm gonna end this second part. And I will see you on the next part. Bye.